Hi, my name is Sifu Nick Martin of the UK Wing Chun Kung Fu Association. Now, I started training when I was 14 years old and one of the first things I noticed about the improvement in myself was an increase in my fitness and my conditioning. And I was shocked that with a few basic exercises, some direction and a few good ideas done regularly, what a difference it can make. I want to share with you some of the secrets of these exercises, some basic, some becoming more complex, so that you too can make the differences and the improvements that I've found. Now, why is your fitness and your conditioning so important in your life as a martial artist? Well, as a beginner you come in without any skill. It's the definition of a beginner. So you replace the skill that you don't have with a solid foundation of strength that you can build upon. As you start to progress through the class, you'll find that you want to train for longer in order to enhance your skill, your skill and your ability. In these tutorial podcasts, what we want to do is make sure you understand the exercises fully. So there'll be full demonstrations of what you're working, explanations of why you're working it, and also a little brief about how it fits into an exercise regime. Also in the future, we'll be uploading monthly podcasts, which will give you an exercise plan. So each month you can download new exercise plans to start to build your own training program, increase your fitness, increase your conditioning and help your overall training. Some of these exercises aren't going to be easy. Some of them are going to take work and you may need to let your ego take a little bit of a back seat so you can make sure you've got the technique correctly. It's important you don't push yourself too hard. Overtraining can be just as dangerous as undertraining. And injuring yourself is only going to set back your personal gains by a long way. So we're going to train sensibly and I hope you take on all the information that we're going to give you. The first group of exercises we're going to look at are going to concentrate on the upper body. And we're going to look at good old fashioned push up or press up. We're going to start with a standard press up and we're going to look at ways of varying the hands to hit different muscle groups and for you to be able to work different areas. Some of these are going to be specifically tailored to your wing trunk training. Now these are exercises that have been tried and tested through the association and through the classes that you should find most beneficial. We're going to start to look at our push-ups. Most important thing to remember is that you keep a straight back. The next thing to remember is that you go through the full range of motion. We're going to touch our chest and then make sure our arms fully extend every time. Therefore we're working exactly the same every time we press. You can start the exercise by being on your knees to lessen the weight and make it slightly easier for you. So we're going to start with our hands shoulder width apart, legs back and keeping our back straight. We're going to go down, touch our chests and then extend back up. Your breathing is going to be important. So we're going to breathe in as we go down and then breathe out again on the hardest part of the exercise. So. Now we're going to take our knees off the floor to increase the pressure. Remember, wait until you can do this exercise by keeping your back straight. There's no point taking your legs off too soon and having your back start to sag. So, maintaining that straight back, we're going to touch our chest again. Remember, breathing in on the first part of the exercise and out on the effort. Keeping that same straight press up position, we're going to change the angling position of the hands. Now the wider the grip goes, the more it's going to start to work your chest. The closer the grip, the more it's going to start to work the back of your arms and your triceps. So first of all, we're going to go with a wide grip press up, working your chest or your pectoral muscles. And we're going to do the same motion. We're going to go down, touch the chest and extend back up. Now we're going to bring the hands closer together. You may find that as you bring the hands closer together, the exercise is going to become much harder because it isolates the smaller muscles of the tricep around the back of the arm. These are going to be important muscles for you because they're the extension for your punch. So if you need to, put your knees back on the ground until you feel strong enough to keep your back straight and touch your chest. So working the hands closer and aiming to come to a diamond shape with the fingers and the thumbs touching. 
We're going to drop the chest down and lift up. Breathing in on the way down and out on the way up. We're now going to bring our hands back underneath our shoulders. But we're going to change it from a flat palm to a fist. Many students wrongly believe that this is in order to train and condition your knuckles. Unfortunately, this isn't the case. All you're doing is weighing your weight down on your knuckles. There's no impact like there would be with a punch. The way to train your knuckles is to work on a wall bag, to gradually build up the power and the consistency of your training in order to really condition your hands to take those strikes. Again, I'd like to refer you to our wall bag training DVD where we can take you through all of the ways of conditioning your hands and using this piece of equipment. The reason we're going to do it on our fists is to raise us slightly higher up off the ground. So if you don't touch your chest down and take use of that extra stretch, there's no point doing it on your fists. Okay. So with your fists underneath your shoulders, touch your chest and press up. Notice that the elbows are going to brush the side of the body, simulating a Wing Chun style punch. So, by doing the press up on your fists, you're essentially raising yourself up off the ground, higher than if you had a flat palm. To illustrate this, you can see on the floor we have two raised platforms, allowing us to do the same press up and stretch that chest even more. As we've just looked at press-ups on your fists, you're already in mind and thinking about your punch. So we're going to train the most important element of your punch, which is your explosion. We're going to want you to go down again on your fists, and then you're going to push up as fast as you can and explode out with the press-up. This is easily demonstrated. You can also go from your fists to your palms, again emphasising the explosion at the end of the technique. Very similar to a press-up with a clap that many of you may be familiar with. 